So I've lived a majority of my life within the boundaries of the reservation. Before working for Ferndale School District, I had never voted on a levy. And the reason I didn't vote on the levy is because I didn't think that it impacted me. I didn't understand that the money for the levy was actually going to support our Lummi children. Without the levy, it is our children. It's our children that are ultimately impacted. What I didn't understand was, for tribal members that reside on trust land within the boundaries of the reservation, voting in favor of our local levy doesn't financially impact our property tax. Trust lands on the reservation are exempt from local levy taxes. In other words, Lummi tribal members who live on trust lands can vote for the levy, but we don't pay taxes on the levy. And I want to be clear about something when I say that. Lummi tribal members pay taxes. We pay a lot of taxes, but we don't pay taxes on the levy. This is one of the benefits of the treaty with the U.S. government. It's something our ancestors fought for, education. What I feel like is, one, I'm an educator, and I think education is important, right? So we have our own school here, the Lummi Nation School, that services 400 of our students. And then, as the principal at Vista Middle School and being a, a member or employee of the Ferndale School District, I get to see the benefit of the programs that service our students in the Ferndale School District. And people don't always realize or always think about that we have 500 Native American students that attend the Ferndale School District. That's 14% of our enrollment. We have 4,500 students in our district and 14% of those students are Native American. And the levy impacts our students directly. So when I walk around Ferndale High School or I walk around Vista Middle School, one of the things that I think about is, you know, you walk into the weight room, you walk into the mat room, and still today on that wall is Robin Finkbonner. Those levy dollars helped Robin Finkbonner. And I think about our, our Lummi tribal members like Maria Ridley how successful she was and what those levy dollars did for her on that track field. And her being on that track field got her an education and she got a scholarship. When I think about the levy, I think about my classmate, the late Anita Abrego. She was a member of our award-winning Ferndale High School marching band. It was through her love of music that she found an interest in school and went on to graduate from the University of Washington as an engineer. And she is our only Lummi tribal member to have ever worked for NASA. Those are Levy dollars. All those kinds of programs are what benefit our children. It's not just athletics, it's music, it's chess queen club, it's Lummi language, it's Native American leadership. It's all those things that Ferndale School District uses our Levy dollars for to make our children feel like they have a home. And I think the cool thing, the important thing about education is we have our own school at home, but our kids get a choice. Our kids have a choice. They have a choice to go to Lummi Nation School and they have a choice to go to Ferndale School District. And I'm hoping now that I've shared a little bit about my story and how I've educated myself, that you also take the time to learn about our local levies and how they benefit the children of the Lummi Nation. And after that review, I hope that you make the choice to get out and vote. Heishka.